The Bible says in Exodus 14, 14, that God will fight your battles. All you have to do is remain silent. Wow. Let's ask God today to do just that. Maybe there's something going on in your life and you need God to go to bat for you. Let's pray that he'll do that, shall we? Heavenly Father, we come to you realizing that your word is precious. And your word promises, God, that when we should remain silent, you are anything but. You have a way, Lord God, of defending us and going to bat for us in ways we cannot even imagine. And sometimes, Lord, when we open our mouth in defense of ourselves, we make things worse. So, God, we heed your word. We accept your promise. And we listen when you tell us to be quiet and let you do the work. In Jesus' name we ask and pray. Amen. All right, guys, we have a TikTok miracle. Share this with someone because this is amazing. This right here is my new friend, Josh, and I'm gonna tell you how he got healed last night through a TikTok live church. So every Monday night at 9 p.m., we have TikTok church, and I will teach and preach for about an hour, and last night we prayed for the sick afterwards. Many people got healed of different pains and headaches and stuff like that, and after seeing that, 20 people gave their life to Christ. Well, I got this message from Josh, who I didn't know, on Instagram. We talked this morning, and he told me the whole backstory. Basically, for 15 years, he's had ear issues, and they're getting progressively worse to the point where now, as of last night, his right ear was completely closed up. He had to use his left ear for everything. We prayed for the sick last night. He heard like a screaming sound coming out of his ear, like a little demon, and it was completely healed. He could hear 100%. Praise God. God, help me to love when I can't love. Help me to forgive when I can't forgive. For the pain that I felt in my past, I have a hard time forgetting. But I'm no better than them because I made mistakes too. So fill me with your love because I'm nothing without you. Who is the king of your heart? Because my king is Jesus. For the terrible night. Nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at no day. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but they shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou shalt make the Lord, which is thy refuge, in the most high thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thee. For he shall give his angel charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands. Jesus said, and you will know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. The religious leader said, we are Abraham's descendants and have never been enslaved to anyone. How is it that you say we will become free? Jesus answered them, truly, truly, I say to you, everyone who commits sin is a slave of sin. Down in verse 36, Jesus says, so if the Son makes you free, you will be free indeed. Jesus can free you from your sin. He can free you from your adultery, your fornication, your lying. He can free you from all sin. That's why in Galatians 4, it says that we are no longer slaves, but child, but we become children of God. And now we can cry out, Abba, Father. Once we accept Jesus, we are no longer slaves to sin, but we become children of God. Say
do you think you are? I say I'm just a no.